Henrik, welcome to Hong Kong. I am so glad that you've made the move to come to Asia. It's an exciting, bustling city. This whole region, Asia Pacific, is the center of innovation for insurance. I think the market environment here is very unique. Uh, and this has uh, two aspects. Uh, the, the one aspect is on innovation. I think the degree of innovation that I have seen with some leading players in this region is unbelievable. The second aspect is simply the growth aspect. And if I reflect, I have to say this is the most attractive insurance region globally. And this is triggered by three uh, trends. One is basically the economic growth. The second comes along with that is the accumulation of wealth. So you have the emerging middle class and you know that in 2023, the wealth of the Asian Pacific households will surpass the North American ones, which is quite impressive and it's not far away. And the third is longevity, uh, which uh, results in a big uh, protection gap in life. So all of that in combination calls out for, for an attractive region. I've been watching this industry for the past 15 years based in Singapore, working across APAC. The demographics is the most important difference. It's a much younger region. And the adoption of e-commerce and digital has been incredible. Openness to tech brands, supported by very friendly, benign regulators who are creating sandboxes for experimentation to happen. Hong Kong and Singapore are two prime examples of that. Attracting a lot of private capital too. Four to five billion of uh, VC capital is coming to insure tech. Where, where are they investing, actually? In well, I would mention health as a key uh, sector where Deregulation is allowing new licenses. At the same time, the new digital insurgents are beginning to think just beyond risk and are starting to think ecosystem. Yeah, this is one of the most important trends and answers of the industry to the challenges ahead. Because what we see, and you have just confirmed it, there is the risk of basically losing the customer mm. to some of the other players, to platforms, yeah. etc. And we both know it's a low-touch industry. Yeah. Therefore, it's so important to redefine the customer relationship and to be not only a, a sales person for products, mm. but basically to offer solutions. Mm. I think then the whole notion of what insurance is mm. will change. So you have to go beyond insurance. Right. And Henrik, what would you say are the pitfalls or lessons from European examples that our clients could take as they think about ecosystems? They're grappling with it, but it's not easy to figure out. No, and I think we have nearly the same situation in Europe. The first lesson is you have to answer some of the strategic questions up front. Why are you doing this? What is the strategic rationale? What is the path to monetization of this? What is your role, your envisioned role? Do you want to really set it up by yourself, which is possible for the leaders, but not for the followers in the market? Or do you want to partner with some other insurers or with telcos or other companies? Or do you want to simply participate in some of the existing ecosystems? Mm -hmm. Whom are you targeting? Are you targeting only your own customers or others? Mm -hmm. So this, this is the strategic layer that is often not answered properly when you are setting this up. The second success factor is be clear on the design, which services to pick, which interface, what kind of data st uh, strategy in order to get it right. And the third is basically where uh, many fail is excellence and execution. Mm -hmm. Have you prepared the sales channel? Mm -hmm. Is it linked to your operations? All these factors mm -hmm. are, are quite important. But what are the key success factors in, in this region? That's several lessons I would say people have to contend with right now, Henrik, and most CEOs are beginning to acknowledge. The first is the idea that you could plant flags across Asia and succeed is now past its prime. Focus on a couple of lines, figure out how do you win in those lines across Asia in one or two markets and then replicate, replicate. The second is customer centricity has to arrive, has to become the number one priority. The one thing that digital insurgents have is razor sharp focus on customer, delivering simpler digital experiences and the incumbents just have not retooled their touch points, retooled their product strategies, 
figured out omni-channel sales experiences, all of that is hard and it has to be the number one priority. And lastly, the M&A has been a very dynamic deal space in Asia, 72 billion put to work and CEOs have to contend with that. What would be the right M&A strategy for them? Which sectors, geographies do they focus? How do they maintain their dividend policy? All of these combined with the challenge from digital insurgents are big hairy issues to solve. And I'm so glad that you're here in Hong Kong helping us address those needs. I'm looking very much forward together with you, together with the whole insurance Asia Pacific team to address these issues. Mm -hmm. uh, these are exciting times.